This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so Matchroom have announced a full undercard for Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk, September 25th at the Tottenham Hotspur Football Stadium in front of over 60,000 people in attendance. Absolutely mega. Now, of course, this will be for Anthony Joshua's unified WBA, IBF, WBO and IBO World Heavyweight title. So, I'm going to go through the entire undercard. Now, it is important to note as well that none of these fighters are the, any of the new Sky Sports signed fighters. They're all matchroom fighters, okay? Now, with this show being on Sky Sports box office, could it be the final fight of Anthony Joshua on Sky Sports? Whereas afterwards, he goes on to DAZN. We'll have to wait and find out about that one. But I'm hearing that he's going to go with DAZN. Either way, we'll find out, as I said. Anyway, so the entire card, Campbell Hatton will make his fourth professional fight against Aizan Jura. Now, Aizan Jura, three wins and seven defeats, zero draws. So he hasn't had too many fights himself, but out of those three wins, all three wins were on points. His seven defeats only stopped once. So this probably got points written all over it for Campbell Hatton. Now, I know a lot of people have been complaining about Campbell Hatton but he's getting a lot of TV time where there's plenty of other fighters out there who are probably better than Campbell Hatton, such as better than him now and, and for potential as well. And it's a fair point, but for me, it's still very early to tell how Campbell Hatton is going to go. Nothing wrong with these kind of fights, but I fully expect him to win this one on points. The next one, I don't know who either of these guys are. Hopefully, some of you do. We've got a middleweight contest, Christopher Owsley. 12-0, American fighter, taking on Kazan Bayasurgov. I, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I killed it. Either way, that'd be for the vacant WBA Intercontinental Middleweight title. Now, I can only presume that this uh, Kritiver Owsley, because he's a home fighter, even though he's had like half the fights of the other guy, um, is a matchroom fighter. I haven't seen this one advertised, so I'm only guessing, but I'm presuming that he is. Is he managed by Anthony Joshua? 258 management? I don't know to be honest with you, um, as most of Anthony Joshua's 258 management fighters are British, with the exception of Sissoko, who of course is French, but to be honest with you, I don't know who this guy is, so I can't really give you a prediction or anything like that. Next one will be Maxim Prodan, taking on Florian Marku. Now Prodan, 19 wins, zero defeats and one draw. Florian Marku, eight wins, zero defeats and one draw. Now Marku is a Sam Jones fighter, so I mean Sam Jones would be very happy the fact that uh, you know he would get to speak at an Anthony Joshua event. We know how Sam Jones does like to uh, make himself famous, but it's an interesting fight. How good is Marku? Well, he talks a good game, and so far he's done the business, so we can't criticize him too much. Uh, Maxim Prodan, um, very good fighter of what I've seen him. Um, he's from Romania. Uh, he's a decent puncher, that's for sure. Nineteen wins, fifteen defeats, but. Can he take the power of Florian Marku? Marku carries some serious power. He really does. Um, even though he's only stopped six of the eight or six of the nine, really. Of course, he did have a draw as well. But this fight, I believe, wasn't it supposed to be on a fight camp card? I'm not too sure why it got pulled. I wasn't really following that story. But either way, it's now going to be on this Joshua Usyk card. The other one, the light heavyweight debut for Callum Smith. 21 wins and one defeat. One defeat, of course, to Canelo Alvarez. And he can be taken on Lenin Castillo. 21 wins, three defeats, and one draw. Out of his 21 wins, 16 of those have been by knockout. Now, the losses that he's had are to Dimitri Bivol, Marcus Brown, and Joseph Williams. All of these guys were undefeated fighters at that particular time, although Bivol still is. But he's carrying some decent power, but... How's Callum Smith going to get on at light heavyweight? These, this is probably the question to really ask. So he's not really taking on a journeyman, is he? He's taking on a pretty decent fighter. So I'll be very interested to see how, how Callum Smith gets on at light heavyweight. Of course, he's no longer with uh, Joe Gallagher. I think I fully understand why, but he's not. So we'll have to wait and see um, what happens with him. The I'm presuming it's going to be the chief support. Because again, he's ma managed by Anthony Joshua. The WBO... Cruiserweight world champion Lawrence Acoli, 16 0. He's going to be taking on Dylan Prasovic. Now, Dylan Prasovic, 15 wins and 12 knockouts. Now, I don't really know any of the guys who it is that uh, 
uh, Prasovic has fought, but they're pretty much all journeymen, including his last one, all barring probably two fighters on his resume. So I don't really know how he's going to get on with Akoli. We know that Akoli is improving all the time under Shane McGuig and everything, and he's carrying some deadly power. So I would fully expect him to get the win on this one. I believe this is actually his WBO mandatory as well. That's that's probably why he's fighting him. Then, of course, you've got the main event, Joshua versus Usyk. Don't need to go into that one too much. Been speaking about it quite a bit already. And, of course, I will be a little bit closer to the fight as well. So that is the full card for Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk, 25th of September at the Tottenham Hotspur Football Stadium. Overall, not bad. Not bad, not great either. If, if we're being brutally honest, as far as an undercard is concerned, Matchroom have put on better undercards in the past. But anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.